here is a hive that is basically the same as a tree. You got a square configuration and you can keep stacking up your, your five frame nuke boxes all the way up. You can come up this high. Now you got a tree. Basically you can dissect it, clean it, go all the way down through it. That's the most natural way of doing bees. Now most people that have 10 frame hives, they say they can't produce Ross rounds. Well, if bees are managed properly, that's Ross rounds right here. Sure enough. See? There's your Ross rounds. This was set up the other day for show I had classes going on here. You take this and put it on here. If I can make Ross rounds on this, a person with an 8 frame or a 10 frame certainly can do it. You got more volumes of bees. It takes a whole lot less, one tenth the amount of bees to produce comb honey than it does in a regular hive that is put chemicals and stuff on it. It's just like you. Huh. You take aspirins, you take pain medications, you take any kind of stuff. It slows your metabolism. The bees don't have chemical on them, work better. They go through the winter better. But right here, what you have, we got five frames in here and four units in each one. In each of these units, they sell between five and 550 wholesale. Now, one trick I'll tell you on the camera here is if you really want to make some money on a hive, a standard hive, if you make 50 pounds of honey, you, you're doing good. But this, you can get you two supers of this, put it on here with a hive top feeder. This is our hive top feeders we use. Okay. Put your extracted honey in here, feed them from the top, feed them from honey on the bottom, and refeed your own honey. Now you're taking a product that's 80 cents to $1.40, you're turning it into $11 a pound. Two eight ounce wow. Ross rounds makes $11 wholesale. Huh. This is the preferred comb honey. This is what they consider gourmet comb honey. And instead of having 30 hives that you're producing a gallon or two, get you one or two that's producing higher quality honey. Even goldenrod, the south, the north, goldenrod, a lot of people don't like it. You put it into Ross rounds, You'd be surprised how they'll say, oh, that's the greatest honey. Because someone down the road said, goldenrod don't taste good. Yeah, it's it, just what you talked about, refeeding honey back to make Ross rounds. It's from a, a dollars alone, and cents perspective. You see the knowledge. That you, most people tell me, it's just like, you know, a lot of people say, oh, 250 bucks. They come down here and they say, in 15, 20 minutes, they got their money's worth. Things that no one else will tell them. 